Welcome to the catch-up here on finals day for the outer known Tahiti Pro. I thought yesterday was the more impo most important catch-up of the week. Today, for sure, the most important catch-up. Finishing on finals day, a historical day for women's surfing history and also crowning some fresh champions. First off, congratulations to the Sea Tiger, earning every bit of this title as the outer known Tahiti Pro champion. She got more barreled than anybody. You can see all the practice that she's had pulling up and under barrels for a very long time. She credits visualization, watching a lot of tape, and always honoring her heroes from Melanie Redmond Carr, Chelsea Georgeson, all the ones that charged 16 years ago here at the end of the road. She had such a great read, even when conditions changed, completely unstoppable as she shared the final with Brisa Hennessy. It was all about the Courtney Show, who was taken off on the biggest waves didn't mind bouncing off the reef. And she learned so much surfing over the reef. She said the wave is the hero. And she's so happy to pick up her first win since 2019 at Bells Beach. Even broke the record she shared with Sally with 12 CT wins. Now she's got 13. So we check out the final bracket. Courtney got past Tatiana, who was expected to win this event. Brisa got past Vahine Fierro, who was supposed to win that event. So congrats to both regular footers working out the final here in Tahiti. Courtney ends up on top. More champions to recognize, a first CT event for this young man. Miguel Pupo qualified back in 2011, entering his very first CT final. Had never been past round three here at the end of the road. And Sammy Pupo, his brother, who happens to be Rookie of the Year, gave him a lot of confidence to enter an incredible tube shootout with Trials champion local hero, 20-year-old Cowley Vost. Remember, Cowley severely comboed Kelly. I mean, severely. 17.33 total against Kelly in the lead-up to this final. 14 waves ridden in this final heat. Every single exchange was won by the goofy foot Brazilian. Nines, high eights. Well, Cowley was stuck in a series of sevens. A big, loud scream came from the top of that boat from the Brazilian storm, as all the chants were definitely for Cowley Vost, a memorable all goofy foot final that will celebrate for a very long time. Pupo, his first victory right here at the end of the road, and we're expecting big things out of Cowley Vost for many years. More news for Brisa Hennessy. What a day she had. Maybe the most exhausting day as she accomplished a lot. She had to think about this seat with Lakey Peterson to kick off finals day. The winner of this one secured a spot in the WSL Final Five. The loser, their season came to a close today. It happened to be Brisa getting barreled in the heat. Her dad getting barreled on the ski. Lakey though, great mention here for this tube ride because she put her head down and absolutely charged, just missing out at a spot on the WSL Final Five. What an effort for Brisa, competing for a world title this September at Lower Trestles in the Rip Curl WSL Finals. She'll be in the first match against Steph Gilmore. Whoever wins that takes on Tati, then moves on to Joanne DeFay, and waiting in the number one seed is Carissa Moore, who's looking for a sixth world title this September. On the men's side, checking out the bracket. Italo fights for world title two. Kano showing up here for the first time. Whoever wins that takes on Ewing. Then to Jack Robinson. Number one in the world, Felipe Toledo, will try to win a best of three series this September. Check out worldsurfleague.com for more highlights, athlete updates, and full heat replays from the outer known TD Pro.